Written on All Saints Day, this one is for Lewis Walter Woods, who secretly always wanted to be a writer. He loved it when I wrote, and this one's for you because we met and had our first date at the zoo. I love you. I always will. Bless you forever and ever. Lewis Walter Woods, you are loved. Interview with a Possum by Faye R. Kiley. I found it. I found it. The live cam microphone. Tap, 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 tap. Ah. Live from the National Zoo. Hear ye, hear ye, the panda bear began. Yes, it's true that we will be leaving for China soon. There will be some new kids on the block here at the National Zoo. We are sad to leave you, my fellow friends of the zoo. We'll miss you too. Now this. Panda to small animal house, can you hear me? Pick up. Panda to small mammal house, I repeat. Come in, come in. Bang, boom, cash, bang, boom, boom. We're here, we're here, this is Lee Maru. Hey, Lee Roo. I heard we have a new mascot over there. You know anything about that? Have you seen him yet? Yep, he's here. A one-eyed Virginia opossum. Kind of pathetic. What's his story? Lee Maru asked Pandy. Well... I heard that he's coming straight from rehab, Pandy said. Rehab? Was he drinking too much or smoking funny stuff? No, silly. They found him on the side of the road. Some predator scratched his eye out. Why didn't they fix him up and set him loose then? Why did he end up here? I heard on the news that when they considered putting him back in the wild... The vet said, Most opossums have really poor eyesight to begin with. This little guy will only have one eye to see predators or any other dangers in his pack. He wouldn't stand much of a chance out there. Doesn't look good. So now we've got him. Here he comes now. Basil, huh? You look like a big white rat. Like a panda rat rodent. I'm not a rodent. But I do share the panda bear's coloring. I'm a marsupial. A Martian what? No, a marsupial. We carry our young in a pouch like a kangaroo. We can have up to 25 babies at a time. Wow, 25? How do you fit them all in one pouch? They're small. How small are they? See that little honeybee on that flower? They're that small? Yep. And they're quite helpless little critters at first. They can't do very much. How do you make it? What do they do? They find a way into the mama of opossum's pouch. They nurse and nurse until one day they get too big. That must be when they all climb up on her back. I've seen them on the side of the road carrying their young just like a piggyback ride. That's true. That's where they hang out until they are fully grown. A lion-headed tamarind joins the group. Want to see my best impression? Uh-huh. Want to see it? Uh-huh. We're having an interview. What's going on over there, Pandy asks. Oh, the Lion King here wants to do an impression. What do you mean? Well, it's my rendition of playing possum. I heard young ones get scared easily, and at first they respond to fear like this. Oh, brother, here he goes. 
He's spinning to the ground. He's playing dead. He's just laying there. Now he's drooling. He looks pathetic. How long are you going to stay there? As long as it takes. Could be three minutes. Could be three hours. Fear has no set timing. That's true, they laughed. But when we are grown, we use other methods to scare off any threatening predators. We bare our teeth. We hiss and make screeching sounds. We stand up for ourselves. Woo! Well, Pandy said, in spite of all that hissing, and bearing of teeth, I hear that you're rarely a threat to people. It's just your survival instincts kicking in. Give him a chance, guys, Pandy said. Be good to him as a farewell present to your old panda buddies. Okay, truce. We'll miss you too, Pandy. Have a safe trip. Now get out of here. The end.